Hello Libra, this is Debs and this is your TGIF weekly reading for Friday the 20th of October 2023. Libra, I hope you're well, I hope you've had an amazing week. Let's jump in. But before we do, the vision I had was of somebody in the kitchen, a woman in the kitchen, busy fastening lids on what looked like jars of preserve. So she might have been cooking. So Libra, I don't know whether or not you're cooking something up, right? It could be that this is symbolism, you're making something, or it could be that you're wanting to hold on to something, preserving something. Hmm. Or are you just sort of getting prepared for the autumn going into winter? I mean, it's already the 20th of October, but you know, you could be deciding, okay, I need to do a bit of a clean of the house. I need to um, bring in provisions for the winter. I don't know. We'll find out. So the deck that I'm using, guys, is the Star Dream Tarot. You can buy this on Etsy. Uh, let's begin. I've just seen 111 on the clock. All right. Now, ones relate to brand new beginnings. And three is about change. So you're looking to move into a new cycle. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Friday, the 20th of October. Look at these cards, wow. Friday, the 20th of October, 2023. Mm, cards are being, look at these cards, guys. They just, Michael, really? Yes, okay. They just don't want to shuffle. It's as if the cards don't want to go on the table. Okay. Hmm. We'll see what this is, guys. All right, Libra, I had to chuckle. Someone here may be connecting with a love interest, but there may be a very big age gap. Okay. Now, Libra, you may be well preserved. You could look younger than you are. You could be fit, looking beautiful, right? Even in your 60s or 70s, I don't know. Um, but there's a sense of, I can't get over the difference. Yes, I look younger than I am. Yes, this person may look older than they are, but the facts remain, there's a big age gap, okay? You'll see what I mean. So Libra, with the Seven of Pentacles, I think you have been assessing the past, looking at the past, maybe up until now, working on your stability, saving money, that sort of thing. But there was heartbreak in the past, Libra, with the Three of Swords. There was a heartbreaking situation that you had to accept and walk away from. You ended up, Libra, sitting in the Ten of Swords. You may have felt betrayed. You may have felt left in the dust. Whatever you went through was painful. You, I think, with temperance, Sagittarian energy, you have been healing and coasting and getting yourself in a really nice, balanced place. Now... With the Two of Wands, you have a decision coming up, Libra. With the Seven of Cups, you may have been looking at various options in love. Or you're simply sitting at crossroads, feeling emotionally confused pertaining to what's coming in. Now, we've got the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> so, Libra, um, you could be getting a lot of interest from someone who is a lot younger than you. It could be as much as 20 years younger than you, okay? For instance, you could be in your 50s, this person could be in their 30s, it could even be more than that. With the Five of Pentacles, this is you thinking to yourself, well, it's not ideal because I don't imagine that this could turn into a serious relationship. The age gap is just too big. But I feel as if you're dealing with somebody pretty sincere and quite, I'm hearing the word ardent, very interested in dating you, Libra. And with the Five of Pentacles, if you're in a situation where you haven't dated for quite a long time, you've been feeling a bit on your own, you may be thinking, well, okay, this person is interested in me, but I don't think this could go anywhere. But sure, we could be friends. Why don't we do that? The Ace of Pentacles is hanging in the balance, Libra. 
This person knows that you're older than them. I feel that's the way it is. I think you're an older woman. This could be a younger guy. They know that you're older than them. It doesn't seem to bother them in the slightest. Again, you could be looking amazing for your age. Um, but you don't feel this is really what you're wanting. But, you, what, but what you are considering is, I've been on my own for a period of time. There's nobody else that I'm attracted to. So why the hell not, right? <laughs> Libra, why the hell not? Now, if you feel that you just can't go there in terms of intimacy, you may well put this person in the friend zone. They could be very disappointed, but we will see. All right, let's move into the second deck. Here we go. This is the Tarot of Mystical Moments. No wonder I was seeing these jars of preserve. You're obviously very well preserved, Libra. <laughs> yes, well preserved. All right. Michael's smiling at me. He's now showing me a bottle of red wine. Yes, you're of a very good vintage, Libra. You're well preserved. I'm hearing jokes about someone laying you down, but anyway, let's not go there. <laughs> oh my goodness all right yes yes oh okay michael saying not done yet oh not done yet okay libra this person may be pretty again i'm hearing passionate about you ardent about you I'm Libra. I'm sorry, guys. I'm almost getting the energy of, well, I really like this person's company. They're good fun, but I don't really want a marathon in the bedroom. Thank you very much because I'm not 20 anymore. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's just it's just something that I feel is relevant in this situation. <laughs> Let's have a look, guys. OK, my beautiful Libra. So. Libra, I think going back to the past with the three of wands, you were waiting for your ships to come in with someone. But I feel, Libra, you were bitterly disappointed. I feel that you made a judgment call to let this person go. It could be that you simply moved on with the energy of justice, bringing balance to your own life, concentrating on your career, or you may have figured out that they were in a legal contract with someone else, okay? Whatever happened, Libra, I think you look to the future with the Six of Wands. You may have chucked everything into work, become highly successful, done well. Maybe you spend a period of time not really wanting to look at love because it was painful, whatever happened in the past. Now, Libra, this is when it gets exciting because the divine is bringing in love for you with the Ace of Cups. They don't want you to just concentrate on work. They want you to have love in your life. This person's coming in in the energy of the King of Cups and the King of Wands. Someone truly passionate about you, somebody who has feelings for you, could be a fire sign with water in their chart, water sign with fire in their chart. But this is someone who is ready to step up into the energy of the emperor. They're ready to take charge. I think this is somebody very serious about you. Even though they're coming through in page energy, they feel that they want to be your emperor. <laughs> it's a big jump, but there we go. With the four of wands, they may want to talk to you about seriously dating, but this is dating for marriage, Libra. This is somebody who wants you to know that they're serious. Two of Wands, Libra, you're going to have to make a decision. Now, for some of you, you've got a King of Cups turning up as well as a King of Wands, and you have to make a choice between both. But I actually feel this is one of the same guy who's wanting to stand in the energy of the Emperor, thinking about the Four of Wands, thinking about commitment. And this is you, Libra, sort of holding the world in your hands, Looking up at that moon, thinking, wow, did I manifest this? I'm not quite sure what to do with this person. They feel they're ready to step up into the energy of the emperor, but they're coming through as a page. So this is you not quite knowing what to do with this offer. Do I say to this person, don't be so crazy. There's a massive age gap. Um, 
I can't even consider getting serious with you, but we could be friends. Or Libra, are you just going to go for it and think, well, what the hell, life is too short, right? <laughs> Libra, we will see. Let's get into tarot. Here we go, guys. This is the legacy of the divine. All right. So what do we have? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Libras. They're jumping out. Okay. Five of swords. Libra, I think this is what happened in the past. Someone ran away from you. Someone sabotaged the connection. And you were left wanting, Libra. This is very painful for you. Or you could have realized that you were simply the other woman. Okay. So this person in the past either left you for a queen of wands or you realized that they were in a relationship with someone else and simply went back to their partner. But whatever this was, you sat in the three of swords and the ten of swords. This was very painful. What was the past relating to? Seven of swords. Somebody was deceptive, Libra, and this wasn't you. Someone was deceptive. Someone was deceptive. Oh, my goodness. Faith card. Somebody could have been married, went back to their partner. You may not have known or you may have figured something out. Yeah, they rushed away from you, Libra. They just literally just upped and left. They could have been a Taurus or a Cancerian or this was someone who went back to a Taurus or a Cancerian. But this is someone who was married, I believe. Yeah, King of Pentacles. You could have connected with an Earth sign in the past. Whatever this was, this was very painful. Mm. They were hanging on to another relationship. They never told you that. So Libra, they may have jumped towards you full of enthusiasm, full of excitement. You may have thought, oh my goodness, this is all my wishes coming true. Only to realize, yeah, Nine of Wands, that this person was still hanging on to their commitment. So Libra, this is difficult for you, but I think you bowed out gracefully and you decided to move on. I don't think you forgot about this. There may have been a few sleepless nights, but you realised, I'm hearing there was no point in waiting. The facts are the facts, right? Yeah, Nine of Swords. So this threw you for a loop a little bit because I feel, Libra, you really wanted this to work. Yes, Eight of Pentacles, you really wanted this to work. You put time and energy into this for however long it was. It could have been a few days, it could have been months, but you you put effort into this only to realise that this person was not who you thought they were. They were not who you thought they were, Libra. Now this, of course, is also you burying your head in your work to try and forget this. But I feel, Libra, this ended badly. This was painful for you, yeah. You realise that you were possibly this person's lover just for a period of time, Gemini energy, or they could have been a Gemini and made a choice to go back to their partner. Maybe they were having relationship issues and they saw you and thought, well, hey, let's have a fling, you know. Nine of Pentacles. So Libra, you turned your back on this. I think you cut the situation out, yes, with the Ace of Swords. And you decided to concentrate on your career, is what I'm getting here. Yeah, you completely transformed the situation by cutting this out and concentrating on your career. There could have been a wake-up call about a Scorpio here. But you had to face a tower moment. And I think you realised, Libra, that you couldn't pick up the pieces now, they could have reached out to you and tried to sort of, I'm sorry, I'm hearing wiggle their way back in, but you blocked them, two of swords. You might have thought, yeah, no, wow, okay, you ran off. Uh, I'm pretty certain that you're married and you're coming back. No, I don't think so. Yeah, you, but you had to heal. This was painful. Strength card, Leo. You may have blocked a Leo or Libra, you may have be very attracted to this person. It may have taken a lot out of you to hold back from them if they tried to come back. But you knew the truth. You knew the truth. You know, yeah, Queen of Coins, that uh, they had a karmic partner sat at home. So you concentrated on 
your work, your stability, your own foundation, Libra. Very strong work ethic. Page of Swords. And I think you said to this person, yeah, no, I'm pretty certain you're in a long-term commitment. Um, not interested. Yes, Libra. You told this person. Capricorn energy there with the devil. This is toxic. No, no, no. So, Libra, you moved on. It was painful with the Three of Swords. Yeah, Three of Swords twice. You had to go through a lot of soul searching. But I feel that you kept telling yourself the truth to sort of keep you moving forward. The truth is, this person's not single. For goodness sake, Libra, forget about it, you know. But it was difficult because you might have felt this was your person. You might have thought, wow, I met the love of my life only to find out they're married, right? Oh, Libra, five of cups, yeah. This was difficult for you. This was difficult for you. You were in your head for quite a long time. So with all these energies coming out, Libra, this shows me that this was not something easy to get over. You may have spent weeks or even months or even for some of you a couple of years trying to wrap your head around why you met this person. Why, you know? If this wasn't meant to be, God, why did you put this person in my path? Could have been a lesson. Could have been a lesson. Yeah. The Hermit. You pulled back. You did a lot of soul searching. Or you could have had conflict with a Libra. Or you could have had conflict, Libra, with a Virgo. Or someone who wanted to apologise temperance wanting to move into a temperate place but I think by this time Libra you'd healed I have to admit there might have been a little bit of looking back at the past but I think in the main you'd healed hangman you saw things from a different perspective it wasn't meant to be Pisces energy and I think you concentrated on you yeah justice so you decided not to do anything about this because you may have realized this person was married or an illegal contract I think you concentrated on your career. I think you concentrated on your career, Libra. Now, page of wands. There is someone coming in who's very interested in you. Hmm. Seven of Cups. A little bit of emotional confusion. You may not know what to do with this person. <laughs> Libra, yeah, they're full of the joys of spring, lots of fun energy. Let's just jump towards Libra. Uh, could be an Aries. You're just not sure, though, because there is, I feel, with the Page of Pentacles, an age gap. You're not sure what this is all about, really. Nine of Cups, yeah, do they want to be indulged? Are they sitting in a little bit of immature energy, just wanting some fun? Or could this actually be... A dream come true. Could this be a dream come true? Ace of Wands. There is definitely a lot of chemistry between the two of you. Okay. I'm hearing age is just a number. Hmm. Judgment. Sagittarian energy for some of you. With the King of Wands. I think the divine wants you to make a decision. Two of pentacles. What they're saying is if you want to have love in your life, whether it's short term or whether or not this could get serious, don't sit on the fence too long because I feel Libra this offer won't be around indefinitely. If you decide to reject this person or not do anything with this person, they may just head off in another direction. Yeah, King of Wands, they're very attractive. What is this person's energy? What are they really wanting from Libra? Wow. Libra, this is somebody who is falling in love with you, okay? Now, you may already have met this person, but decided, no, 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 this is crazy. You know, they're too young for me. They don't want anything serious. But the divine wants to shift you onto a new path. Yes, the wheel of destiny. This person feels that they were destined to meet you. 
or if this is somebody that you're going to meet, they will feel this very strong connection. What is your energy, Libra? Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Empress. So, Libra, you're dealing with a page energy who is coming forward to you as a king, wanting to be your emperor. Okay? It's as if this person wants to do speedy boarding. They want to fast track from the page to the emperor. They see you sat in emperor's energy, and I think they're serious. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Coins. They're very happy to take this slowly, Libra. They may know that you're a little bit nervous. They may feel they're going to have to take their time with you. What is on Libra's mind? Yeah, Ten of Wands. You don't know what to do with this person, Libra. You don't know. Half of you may be thinking, well, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't spend time together because I'm single. Sometimes I feel a bit on my own. For others of you, you're burdened because you're thinking, well, but this can't get serious because there's such a big age gap. What is this person saying to Libra? I'm ready for marriage, Emperor. I I I'm ready. You're the one. What is this person offering Libra? Offering Libra. The Ten of Cups. Libra, for some of you, if you were worried, this is somebody who doesn't have any ulterior motives. They simply feel that you would bring a lot of happiness into their life. What is Libra's energy? Hmm. High Priestess. You could be very intuitive. The Divine is asking you to use your intuition. Which maybe to think about this before you speak, you know. King of Swords. You may be trying to use your intuition to figure out if this person is being strategic. You also want to figure out if this person is telling you the truth. For some of you, if you're not feeling very confident, you may think this is crazy, right? The age gap is too much. For others of you, if you are confident, you may be worried that this person wants to be pampered. And you may be standing your ground. We'll see. What is Libra's energy? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Libra, you may be absolutely blinkered at the moment. This is you looking at your finances, looking at your work. You could have a heavy workload with the Ten of Wands. Or what you're thinking about, Libra, is I can't go through what I went through in the past. You're looking at the past. I just cannot cope if I fall in love with this person and then figure out that there's some sort of deception. I don't think that's the case. What is this person's energy? Is there anything to worry about for Libra? Okay. I think they have insecurities, Libra. I think they put you on a pedestal. Empress energy, right? They may have a few financial issues. They may feel not good enough for you. But they're coming in anyway. The world. They want to close out a cycle of feeling left out in the cold. They may reach out to you over the internet because they may not know if you're up for this. Three of Cups. They've ended a rather immature phase of their life where they were out partying, meeting lots of different people, juggling people. They've ended that phase of their life. Wow, cars are flying. The moon. And this is somebody who is going to develop feelings for you. Cancerian energy. Six of Swords. I feel as if they're ready to move to a calmer place in their life. You know, no more going out until three in the morning, waking up with a hangover, having to cope with work, feeling really rough. No, they are realising they're ready for a serious relationship. How do they see Libra? The Sun. As somebody that could bring them a lot of happiness, they feel they could create a beautiful life with you, Libra. You could have a good job. You could be heavily ensconced in a career that's very successful. They see you as a serious person. They don't see you as somebody fly by night who goes out until late, you know, um, 
loses your wallet, loses your keys. They see you as being extremely organized, very centered. You know where you're going, you know what you want, you know what you don't want. They can rely on you. I feel this person has been surrounded by people that have been very immature, mess them around, people that they can't relate to anymore. This is somebody who's suddenly, as if a switch has gone off inside them, realised they're ready to get serious. No more messing around. Okay, let's find a wife. I think this person has met you and sees you as the perfect partner. And they're coming in. But you may be feeling a bit skittish. <laughs> What's going to happen here between Libra and this person? Six of Cups. Libra, you can't get out of your mind what happened in the past. It's as if you can't help but worry that... This person's going to run off with somebody else, sabotage the connection, because that's what happened before. What is Libra's energy? Yeah, you're reticent to say yes. Two of Wands. You're sort of sitting looking at the past. Oh, no. What is this person offering Libra? They're really serious, Libra. You may not feel as, as if you can take this person seriously. They do want a commitment with you. They're ready. What is their energy? Yeah, Knight of Cups. They have feelings for you, Libra. They really do. This is somebody genuine. This is somebody who I feel is not planning on messing you around. If they see you as an empress, this is somebody who respects you a great deal. And this is somebody who I feel will be proud to be with you. This is not someone who's going to leave you behind and head off with somebody else. I think this person feels they would be proud if you would allow them, I'm hearing, to court you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, Libra. Ooh, this person is coming in meaning business. Three of coins three of pentacles they want to build a foundation of a relationship with you oh but libra you just don't know what to do how is this going to work out for libra is libra going to make a decision to go for it what is libra going to do libra i think you're going to talk to this person i think you're going to talk to this person and figure out if they do have genuine feelings i think they do I feel the only thing holding you back, Libra, are issues from the past to do with trust. You've been hurt before in the past. But this is someone who may not be openly demonstrative, right? King of Cups keeps his feelings inside. You just want to make sure that you are moving forward with someone who has the right intention. But to be honest with you, Libra, worst case scenario, you could say to this person, look, um, I am attracted to you. I do believe you've got feelings for me, but I simply feel the age gap is too much. For some of you, you may say that. But even worst case scenario, Libra, you've got this person as a friend. And who knows, it may develop further in the future. I feel as if I'm dealing with a Libra who's been through a lot and is not wanting to rush into anything too quickly. This is somebody in a hurry because they simply see you as their perfect empress. OK, but you don't need to follow their lead and jump in if you're not so sure yourself. Take your time. OK, but it's a nice energy, Libra. You may consider this for some of you. All right, guys, let's move into messages. Here we go. I haven't used this deck for a while. White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages, Volume 2. OK, what would this person want to say to my Libras? What would this person want to say to Libra? Yes, I want to create with you. This is somebody who sees you as a really good partner. Somebody that's going to have their back as they have your back. They are sitting in a little bit of logical energy, but the feelings are there. How I wish I could hold you tonight. Yeah, the chemistry is there, the feelings are there. But this is someone who is also using their head. 
They see you as someone that they can rely on. Now, this could also be somebody who may be a bit younger than you, but maybe, Libra, they had a really bad childhood. Maybe they were in a family dynamic where they didn't get the attention and love that they needed. So this is somebody who automatically is drawn to women who are mature. Nothing wrong in that, right? Yeah. And sometimes it really works. Mm, look at that. I'm drawn to your deep intelligence and wisdom. They see beyond the facade in the nicest sense, Libra, right? Beyond the makeup and the nail varnish and you sort of doing detox and, you know, that sort of thing. They really do feel as if you guys could get on and live a very happy life into the future. You could be very interesting to talk to, Libra. This is someone who feels as if you tick so many of their boxes. Yes, there we have it. You're not my usual type, but I like it a lot. Yeah. You're like my long lost best friend. They feel this very intense connection with you, Libra. But the passion is there. The love is there. The respect is there. They feel they could create a beautiful life with you. They simply see you as their empress. Yes, this person always hopes to have you in their life. Now, Libra, for those of you who might think, well... I don't believe that they're right for me, then you may put them in the friend zone, but they are wanting a relationship with you. They feel they're ready. They feel they're ready. Mm. I tried to stop these feelings, but now you're burning hotter and brighter than ever within me. So Libra, you may have met this person before. They could have taken you out on a date, but you may have ended it very quickly because... They might have been, in your eyes, not the right age group, okay? Mm. There is a spiritual connection, though, too. So we meet again, my dear friend, through space and across time. This person feels as if you two may have known each other in a past life. They feel very connected to you. So, Libra, it's up to you. It's up to you. I do think this person is genuine. If you can get over the difference in ages, because I think that's what we're looking at here. You're coming through as an empress. They're coming through as page, knight, king. <laughs> okay. They're fast tracking, right? Um, if you can get over that, then this could work out. But for some of you, you may say to this person, look, I am attracted to you, but I'm just not totally comfortable with the age gap, but I would love to be friends. Can we please be friends? I think they'd be very disappointed, but Libra, it may be your decision to do that, you know? Each of you is going to be different. So Libra, I am leaving it there. Have a lovely weekend. Take care of you, and I will see you very soon for your next set of readings. Bye now.